Spinosaurus is probably the most bizarre dinosaur out there. It's got a giant six, seven foot sail on its back. It's got a long slender snout like a crocodile. It's got short hind limbs and powerful arms, a long tail. So there's really no other dinosaur like it. I think it's very difficult to, to really visualize in your mind um, what a 50 foot long predator looks like. You really have to walk up to it and you know, just look at the arms and you go like, wow, this thing could just grab me and you know, pull me into three pieces. That's when you realize, A, how big this animal was, but also how beautiful it was. It really is an amazing creature. The place Spinosaurus lived in is a really bizarre ecosystem. We're looking at a place with several T-Rex-sized predatory dinosaurs, six or seven different kinds of crocs, uh, giant flying reptiles, car-sized fish. So it, it was a, a pretty dangerous place, a river of giants, and that's really what it was. One thing I wanted to figure out was how these different predators could coexist. And it turns out that many of them were fish eaters. What we didn't know was whether Spinosaurus was also a fish eater. But as we pieced the skeleton together, it became apparent that this was the first dinosaur that was actually spending a substantial amount of time in the water. It was a river monster, uh, a predator of the river of giants. So it's the first dinosaur to do that. And that's really significant because we thought that dinosaurs were really land animals and that they never really invaded that environment. We thought that the river systems were firmly in the hands of crocodiles. But it turns out that at least one dinosaur did venture into the rivers.